Right, good morning. So it's now Thursday morning. It's about 5 a.m. Uh, my alarm went off at 3 at the lakes. Woke up, had a cup of tea, had some breakfast, and trundled on down here. It's taken me a while to get along the river because it's a little bit overgrown at the moment. I've got into the swim that I've been eyeing up for a few weeks. Put a bit of bait in, got a rod in, I'm getting indications already. The problem is, they may be crayfish or minnows. I'm not quite sure yet. Hopefully that tip will wrap round. Clutch will scream. I'll be attached to a girt big birdie first thing on June the 16th. If not, got a couple more swims downstream where I can hide away from the sun later on today. There's a tap. We'll go with that. There's something in there, definitely. Maybe it was an eel. Alright, I'll catch you later. Here we go. Swim number two, fish number one, five pound, one ounce chub. Happy June the 16th. Right, I'm going to get this back. See if there's any more here. Alright, here we go. Swim number three. Uh, I had a couple of dodgy indications downstream, so I've moved up here. Sat in the shade, so I'm gonna have a snooze. Right, I'll see you later. Here we go, fish number two, four pounds seven ounces. It's got a bad opening day. Right, it's just coming up on seven o'clock and uh, I'm gonna be off in the next hour or so because I'm quite tired. Didn't actually get to have a snooze today because it's been too hot. And there's been too much noise going on and around. Uh, just the two fish, but to be fair, when it's a, a four pound and a five pound chub, I'm more than happy with that. Uh, and yeah, that's it really. I'm going to give, like I say, I'll give it another hour, then I'll be back on the river tomorrow. I haven't quite made my mind up where yet though. Right, good afternoon. It's June the 17th now, and uh, I'm on a different stretch. It's very shallow, very clear. I have spotted a couple of chub up there. And I have found a spot to fish down there, which I think might be worth a bite or two later on this evening. Uh, I'm going to try and mug one upstream after I get some bait in downstream, and we'll go from there. Uh, however, typical Hampshire Haven, the wind's up, and I can't get a brolly up. I plan to hide behind my chair with a little tiny bit of shade there later, because it's about 30 degrees at the moment and redders. But let's catch a chub and see what happens. Well, I've gone for a quick swim change. I'm now on the middle of uh, nowhere, basically. There's a clump of weed with a clear bit behind, put a bit of bait in, and it looked like there was a chub on it, so I'm having a good go. I've also found another spot, but uh, unless I catch anything, you won't see that until I do catch something. It's a bit tasty. Right, I will see you later. Ciao for now. Right, good evening. It's Monday evening at about six o'clock. It joined me back down on the Hampshire Raven. Same swim as I was in last week when I had the two fish. Uh, on the vain hope of a bite. I've been doing lots of work up and down the river and on some lakes today, so uh, I've managed to get a couple of hours to come fishing, which is always nice. Right, if anything good happens, I'll show you. Failing that, I'll see you on Wednesday. Right, good afternoon. It's now Friday afternoon and you join me on the Hampshire Raven again chasing chub uh, just behind that tree there's a couple of three pounders I'm trying to get going on meat and then I'll chuck a free line in and hopefully I'll catch one if I do I'll show you if I don't then I'll be somewhere else soon because this stretch is considerably weedier than I first thought it was going to be all right plan B there we go look number one about 12 ounce not a massive but I'll take him all right let's get him back and get another Right, I'm on my second stretch after that little one, uh, trying for a big one. However, it's not working. Uh, what I thought was here isn't here. Uh, I've tried float fishing up there. I've tried tr uh, bumping some meat up round up there. I've put a bit of bait in here. I've sat on it for half an hour now without so much as a touch. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for a bit of a walk and we'll have a look. Right, I'll update if anything good happens. 
Right, so I've walked the best part of half a mile downstream. And in that time, I've seen two swims. This is one of them. Put a handful of bait in, dropped my kit off, walked the whole way down to the bottom of the stretch. Didn't see anything else fishable. Uh, there's another one upstream, which I put a handful of bait in. Oh, sorry, two more upstream that I put a handful of bait into each. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give it about half an hour here. Then go up to the next one, then go up to the next one. And then I might just change stretches again and do the third stretch for the day. Haven't made my mind up yet. Certainly not like winter fishing down here. It's uh, very difficult to find areas to fish. Right, it's coming up on the eight o'clock. I'm on stretch of river number three. I'm in swim number 13. It's raining. I think somebody's been fishing in here already. Uh, all my excuses are now primed. I've got about an hour, then I'm gonna go home. So I'm gonna sit in here because I know there's a few chub mincing around in here somewhere. We'll see how it goes. Right, hopefully I'll catch one. If I don't, I'll see you next week somewhere. Right, ciao for now. Right, good afternoon. It's Wednesday afternoon. Today I am whip fishing for rud. Uh, reason being, I want to see how many are in here. I keep on getting moaned at that there's too many rud. So I'm here to actually figure it out for myself. Uh, really simple. I've got two whips set up, two meter and a three meter. I've got a pint of pinky, pint of maggot, and a bit of sloppy ground bait. I've got a keep net, and what I'll be doing later, so I'll be weighing up how much they, uh, how much I have in total, dividing that by the number of fish, measuring a lot of them, taking some scale samples and doing loads of sciencey stuff. And that's enough waffle, on with the fishing. <laughs> He could be problematic though, can he? fishing for just over nine pound of fish over four kilos I've counted them I'm gonna get some scale samples get them all back but yeah that's been interesting right carp fishing next Right, it's about eight o'clock. Uh, it's start. It's gone really, really pants. Uh, the fish have stopped feeding in front of me. He says, as one starts feeding. I'm going to ping this down the throat of all the mixers. Well out the back. Pop the line up onto top. Bring it back to where they should all be. See where he's feeding there with his girlfriend. I've just moved the float from there. He's fine.
see what happens. Oh, drag's a little tighter. Three there now. Three have just turned up. Lich. Yes. Hooray. About time. Art off. Oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> right, good evening. Join me on Friday night. I'm on the Dorset Stour on a new Blanford and District Angling Club uh, stretch. Uh, giving it a go for bream. I've got worm, caster, bit of ground bait, bit of micro pellet. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I've had a little indication on maggot so far, but tonight I'll be fishing worm baits on both rods. Uh, once it starts settling down a bit. Which should be soon. So right, I'm going to get uh, myself sorted out, have a cup of tea. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the middle of the night with a big fat carp. Uh, carp? Bream even. Right, chat for now. Right, so I've been getting plagued with funny bites all night, funny indications, and finally I have caught one of the culprits. <sighs> Back to the drawing board. Right, good morning. It's uh, coming up on half four. I only had the one eel last night, even though I had loads of indications off of what I can only assume was more eels. Uh, but there we go. It was stripping worm and worms off the hook and everything. Uh, I'm going to upload this video today or tomorrow. And uh, I will see you next week when I'm out on the bank somewhere. Right, ciao for now.